Hello, welcome everyone to the assign assignment two brief. Uh, we will quickly look into the unit uh, as an overview, uh, the learning outcome, and then we look into the submission date and time. Uh, assignment brief with the marking um, breakdown to achieve your desired grades uh, from assignment to submission, uh, that's the business report. Uh, quickly looking into the uh, unit overview, as we discussed a couple of times before, the unit has to cover uh, both elements, both the operations and project management uh, contents. Uh, please refer to the uh, structure if you have not so far on the Brio, which shows all the component or elements of this unit covering both operation and project management element. So exactly your ass assessment, uh, the second assessment particularly will combine both elements, but you need to be clear on which concept and models that you can apply in context of operation and project management. We have already covered in nine weeks uh, the key chapters, both from the operation and project uh, management uh, component. However, we are left with only three more uh, discussion, uh, so we will do outsourcing and offshoring, then change management, uh, followed by capacity management, leadership in project, waste management and project closure. So you can look into different tools and technique that we have covered in the operation sides as well as in the project management can be considered when you are doing your assessment uh, for the existing system and how that can be critically analyzed and evaluated for recommendation to enhance and improve or rather to replace with a more efficient, effective, rather productive operation or business management system in place. Uh, the assessment to a uh, learning outcome is exactly the same as it is shown in your unit information form. Uh, the threshold that you should be able by the end of this unit, completing a second assignment and coming from the first assignment, what you have done, that you have the knowledge and understanding as well as the right skills and capability about the project and operation management elements that you can apply in real life uh, and then you can see how planning, management, decision-making, knowledge, uh, applying a range of tools and techniques, uh, business framework uh, that can be applied in real life. Uh, of course, that is important that you understand the requirement of operation and uh, project management theory within any organization to generate appropriate and cohesive uh, tools and techniques to be applied with the right recommendation and the right choices. So uh, from the learning outcome, this is important that you carry on with your second assessment. Uh, the submission of the uh, assessment is week um, 13th, Friday, 14 May uh, 2021. Uh, that's the British summertime, 10 a.m. Please don't make it delayed. You have to submit a report, business report, with 3,600 words, which is worth 60% of the total grade in this unit. Uh, as I said earlier, Friday 14 May is the submission uh, date and time, 10 a.m. in the morning. That's the British standard time for summer. Uh, don't delay it. But it is delayed. It is out of uh, our hand as a course team. We cannot mark it. So then you have to contact the mitigation team for any relaxation or extension because it is out of our hand to access any late submission, even if it is one minute late or one day late. Late is uh, not uh, accessible for marking on the course uh, team uh, from our point of view. So the assessment brief clearly uh, tells you that you will be applying the um, LTR case study uh, and you have to look again to the uh, case and focus the data storage, data sharing, internal communication and collaboration. Uh, with this information, you will be required to submit a 3,600 words business report this time. Uh, of course, your word count exclude any uh, title page, any um, uh, the, the index page or uh, you have any graphical illustration, tables, uh, references, bibliography, or any appendices if you have. However, the report has to respond to the following three important sections that you have to cover. Uh, you have to give an overview of the current operational system uh, 
which is in place at LTR uh, to facilitate the internal communication and connect data silos with the reference to academic concept, business model, and theories. So that is first section which you have to uh, critically analyze and evaluate how the existing system is working, uh, how it is facilitating any communication, internal collaboration, coordination, data silos. And you have to support your, uh, your discussion and your rational thoughts by some decent references. You have to give in the sec second section respond recommendation to improve the existing system if it is not working. Uh, so to these operation system within LTR case study, you have to provide a support with recommendation, uh, supported your rec recommendation with high quality evidence and references where it is possible. So in the third section, you need to present a project plan. So the project master plan to improve your or LTR operational that recommendation that you want to replace or enhance the existing system if it is not working. Um, you need to include in your business plan uh, with your master planning uh, of the project to go ahead. Uh, you show the work breakdown structure of your project, risk management, proposed budget, and all other important elements that you believe is important to be part of the project plan uh, to include in your section three. Uh, you can show within the report, or you can also uh, attach any appendices which you have already highlighted in your main body discussion. However, there's some additional guidance for you. The balance between analysis and the actual planning recommendation ensure that your submission are balanced with regard to analysis and recommendation. For example, do not use a lot of space summarizing the case study at the expense of developing your recommendation and considering potential issues. Second point, the vagueness, so students need to be more careful. So your project planning needs to be very specific with smart objective, starting that a deliverable will be produced, um, which is, is, it is not just sufficient unless until you clearly present a business or the project plan to achieve that milestones or set deliverables. You need to explain the rationale behind your choices, the academic tools, the business framework that you can apply, the issues that you can consider or you have taken into consideration and also demonstrate that you have given some thoughts to the implementation as well as the implication of your recommendation to enhance or rather replace uh, or rather resolve the resolution for the problem in LTR operations. The third important thing is the content, the academic content. You are expected to include academic material into your report rather than relying upon online sources alone. So don't be taking a lot of uh, uh, resources from, from online. You need to demonstrate an understanding of the theoretical background of operations as well as management of the project through your decent citation from relevant academic content to justify your rational thoughts. However, the, the fourth important point is the executive summary. So you have to have an executive summary that should be written in a way that allows the executive who read it to know what the problem is within the existing system of LTR and how it is to be resolved by your recommendation. Essentially, it is a summary of your problem statement, objectives that need to be smart and how to achieve them and how to resolve any identified problem or problems. And then the fifth point, how you will present your report and how you will structure it. However, I've given you uh, a recommended uh, there's a recommendation, a st uh, recommended structure which is accessible within the folder of the assessment too. But of course, this is your report. You can make a business report the way you like. So you can make a best presentation and the structure of your submission to achieve an excellent grade. So your presentation also should be excellent if you want to get the high grade. This include 
numbering table, uh, decent references in a correct format. Uh, please do not present a lot of data or information in tables as appendices. Um, you need to make sure everything you to attach or present, it has to be aligned to your main body discussion within the main content of the report submission. Data or statistics that refer directly to your discussion in the main body should be present in the main body. Any table or graphical illustration, they need to be numbered and has to be given the source if it is not from yourself. Uh, and the table and the graphical illustration need to be self-explanatory where they're coming from. So your analytical content must be high quality, demonstrating critical thinking and the ability to apply relevant marketing concept, for example. So that needs to be more logical with critical business uh, operation and project analysis, as well as evaluation to identify the problem, make recommendation and solution to the identified problem. And then you need to think about the report size. We already said 3,600 words, of course, excluding the title page, um, the index content of the table, references or any appendices. Please note uh, that your cover page must include your full name, your student ID number. Uh, you can also include uh, to whom you are submitting or the unit coordinator or anyone that you're submitting. It should look like a professional business report with all the key section and the executive summary inside. Uh, the rubric was clearly uh, specifying that you have to be more careful if you want uh, to get your desired grade, uh, what is expected uh, with the uh, literature review, the recitations, uh, your uh, logical, rational uh, thoughts, your reasoning, your recommendations, uh, the structure of your arguments. It needs to be in a very well professional format. And then, of course, uh, the excellent use of the project management planning, the project plan that includes all the tools and technique, including work breakdown structure, risk management, budgeting, for example, and how you have applied without any error, uh, and there's no error or any omission. So you have to be more careful to submit your report, which uh, look very professional to the examiner if you are targeting high grade to, to achieve. There are uh, some material provided in the folder for assessment uh, two under the assessment and folder tab inc that includes the brief for the assessment, the suggested structure, though it is just a recommendations. As I said earlier, you can design and present your assessment two business uh, report the way you believe is more appropriate. And then uh, you can look into the uh, business case, that is your case study, second version, and then the prints to template. There are a number of uh, templates given, for example, a risk uh, log, um, quality log, uh, work breakdown structure, for example, and the project plan brief. You need to see what template you want to incorporate or you want to use uh, within your presentation or the way you gonna structure and present your second assessment. Uh, a discussion forum is alive for your discussion and uh, sharing your concern and your ideas. Uh, you can, um, all the students can, can share their thoughts and ideas and you can raise if there is any point, any question or any concern. And uh, we can also uh, be announcing on the announcement that there will be a drop-in session um, and you can join if you want to talk uh, directly when there is a live online session. Please read the chapters uh, from your core and recommended books, and I wish you all success, keep safe, and all the best. Bye-bye.